What's up, what's up, what's up? My name is Sai Jones and welcome to the Sai Sessions Podcast. So today is a special edition. We're doing the best ever hashtag pod party. Sai Sessions presents the pod party hosted by yours truly, hosted by Oh My Restro Bar. We've collaborated and the Sai Sessions now has a residency home. So today is the first ever and I'm here with you. I've got my girls on the decks. I've got Sandy. I've got DJ Lutz. I've got Tandy Dry. And of course, your girl serving some great music as of course you know what the side sessions are all about. So let's go on ahead and enjoy the group today. Podcast. My name is Sai Jones, your host, and today we are shooting our, at our brand new residency location, Oh My Restro Bar. Looks beautiful. Hashtag the pod party, ladies and gentlemen, shooting and coming to you live. I've got my ladies on my left and on my right who are going to be part of the pod party today, and they're going to be part of the podcast, as you can see. I feel like I'm yelling because for some reason I feel like I'm talking to the camera so it's like I should it's like I'm talking to someone way over there that I feel the need to yell okay the ladies on my left I've got Sandy and then I've got Lutz these are DJs as like myself been in the industry for quite a bit and today we're going to be engaging about women in the entertainment space yeah welcome yeah. ladies welcome thank to the you. park thank, thank you so much yeah. for having us the pod party <laughs> yeah it's the first one so it's exciting exactly yeah. exactly how, how do you guys feel about that by the way because it was just one of those concepts of where it was like it's time to do a pod party it's time to turn this thing uh into an event get a grand ass location like oh my restaurant mm, right. and go on ahead and do it mm. for me i was just like it makes sense like it literally made sense because from the podcast and you've done events before yeah and i think we we did chat about it before just a little bit as to you going back to the events and yeah. and, and, mm. and it literally just made sense mm. and the venue my goodness it literally just made sense <laughs> yeah. so also to to be a part of the first one i was very excited the first one. yes it's really really cool and i know that you've been about women since since i've known you because i actually met you when you were hosting um, at, Kantari. at Kantari, Kantari, and you hosted Wednesdays, yes. which were female, of female yes. lineups. So yeah, this literally just made the yeah. most sense. Yeah, perfect timing for you to go back, like, and do all of this. Like, it's perfect timing. Thank you. It sounds like you might have to go to the Ah, it's not an intervention. <laughs> not even. Hey. Not even. <laughs> we're celebrating you as well, as much as you're celebrating. I yeah. am celebrating yeah. the yes. hell out of you guys. You guys are so inspiring, by the way. Um, I think if you know me, you know very well that feminism is key number one, mm -hmm. and especially women in the entertainment space is key number two. I respect you guys and I look up to you, and that's why I invited you guys to be Aww. part of the first pod party. And thank, thank you so you. much for joining me. Thank you so I much really for having us. Yeah. So the conversation is today: women in entertainment. Thank I mean, look, how long have you been DJing? Twelve years. Twelve years. Sandy, how long have you been? Five. And five. Five years. Yeah. And I've been DJing for nine years. And I just want us to kind of like paint a story as to how the experience has been, I guess, throughout the years for each one of us and kind of see where we go from there. Yeah. I think, Luke, since you are basically the OG. Yeah, she is. <laughs> you were this OG thing. Like, <laughs> Luke, Luke is legit an OG. I don't care what anybody says. Oh you understand? I heard stories about you when I got to Jersey about five years ago. I got yeah. to Jersey. I heard stories about you. I was sitting with Infinix and Infinix told me about you. And I'm just like, hmm, okay, we OG, babe. Stop. <laughs> no, also we when OG. I saw that she's, we are all part of the lineup today, I'm like, Lutz, ah, <laughs> <Side> <laughs> <note>. <laughs> ha, 
Tapos hindi siya. I'm like, yo. The pressure. I'm so pressure. I'm like, pressure nga. It's so much pressure. Yeah, Charlie Joel was like, no, I saw you because I'm just like, yo. And then I see Charlie Joel, I'm like, yo. It's like, I'm like, okay. And that's how I want to do it. Can I tell you? I think that's why I need to know kind of your guys' stories. Because I realized, like I said, of a female is trending. Yes. But we were there before female was trending. Trending. Yeah. 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 So, Lutz, 12 years, tell us. Yo, it's been a long journey, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, I actually became interested in DJing and varsity. But my uncle back home was a DJ playing on, on, vinyl. on vinyl. So, whenever my mom would send me to go buy bread, I'd come back like hours later. <laughs> I'm chilling with my uncle. So, varsity, I became interested. And I became friends with Western DJs at, on campus. Mm-hmm. I asked them to teach me how to play. They were like, no. Shots. Those were men, weren't they? I'm joking. Duh. <laughs> but they were because which girls Hello. were there at the time? Duh. So luckily, I bumped into a female DJ in Cape Town. She was sure. big that time. Who is it? Uh, Knox, but she Knox. stopped. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think I've heard of her. Yeah. 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 We became friends on Facebook. We we met, and she would take me to her interviews, like her radio interviews, and to her gigs. And she would like, I would watch yeah, her yeah. play. Yeah. Eventually, 2009, I. From there, I didn't know you used to live at Gaba. I used to live in Cape Town. From Mtat, when I um, matriculated, I went straight to Gaba to go study. I went to my guys at Gaba. You know, I wanted to live in Cape Town. No, like back in the day, like you were able to like start a DJ career, which is what I started. Okay, but now it's 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 guys things change. Hey, yo yo yo, so much has changed, guys. Nightlife. At different towns, yeah. it's not the same anymore. Yeah. That's why people are coming to Joburg yeah, to yeah. search for opportunities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember, I remember Cape Town. Cape Town was my first option to go to study mm. and my first option in general to live. Oh, then okay. the come back. Salama, 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 salama. And I come now, Salama. If you don't yeah. make it, you exactly. Salam. I was like, yo. I'm gonna starve considering yo, what I do guys, for a living. Yo, guys, yo, Hunger Games, mm. Lafayette. Yes, yo, Cape Town. Games, yo. <laughs> and that's how here I am thinking. It's so beautiful. It makes sense to relocate. Mm. Yeah. But it also goes with the genre of like where you want to go, which city is for a specific genre. Mm. Yeah. But Jova, because everything is here. It's, yeah, it's the hub of entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Mm. People are leaving Cape Town to come here. People are leaving the Eastern Cape to come here. Sure. Yeah. 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 Mm. Oh. It's, 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 I have reservations, but I, I do because we're supposed to build industries yes. in general and, and build each other to build exactly. Mm. So it's a, it's a, like an ad thing, but it's whatever. Well, it's a conversation you. for another day. <laughs> yeah. Sandy, five years. Yeah, started just over five. And literally, actually, I started. I think my first gig was on the twenty eighth <gasps> of October, twenty sixteen. Mm. Oh, okay. You even remember the day, I babe? think so. Wow, anniversary vibes, right? <laughs> and actually, it just hit me now. I'm just like, actually, this was the month I got my first gig. How I got into it was, um, it was just loving music, man. Um, I think I got introduced to house music at a time, I was very young. Mm, yeah. And it was a time where I just needed something that would make sense for yeah. my life. I was 11. And what what do you mean when you're 11 that you need something to make sense of your life? But I did. And I would listen to in case the drive yeah. show yes he played the legend yeah. the best Your. house like that show um that's where summer days i fell in love with i feel like song. summer days got a lot of people on the house <laughs> i music. think we we'll all have a history <laughs> with <laughs> summer days so i fell in love with house music then um fast forward varsity um i was surrounded a lot with people that loved house mm. and i don't know man just i went to a gig with oh, not even a gig a friend of mine, I was going through the most after a breakup. Yeah. A friend of mine's like, yo, let's go out, let's go to hey, I didn't go have fun. I'm like, actually, let's do this. I know it's a Monday, but it was a Sunday. I'm like, let's do this. Yeah. I got there, we got lit, but there's a certain DJ who played an Afro. And I was like, I wanna do this. Mm. I felt so good in that moment that I'm like, I wanna how I feel right now is how I want to make someone yeah, else yeah, feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And already at the time I had started collecting music for some reason, um, so called house. Mm. And then I started actively looking for someone to teach me. I think when when I tell people that oh, we're already DJs, a guy friend of mine, I'm like, I want a DJ. He thought I was joking. Mm. See? And literally a couple of months later I found someone who taught me Hardly about a year later, and I was not even serious with my lessons at the time because I had a nine to five. 
and then I got a gig. I'm like, I have a gig? Me? You want to book me? I don't even know how to play. But I could mix at the time. But like, I'm just like, but I'm still learning, you yeah. know? And they were like, yeah, no, because I used to practice at a club. So I'm like, okay, cool. They call me up, they put me on a lineup, and the rest is history. Mm. Yeah. And then I started DJing hardly a year into, it's actually about six months into it, six, seven, eight months into it. I was not getting proper gigs in Durban. It was hard to get a gig, a simple gig. And I literally got five gigs in one weekend in Joburg. Mm -hmm. So I came up to Joburg. I, that's it was I that I, you. yes, Slim and told me because Slim was the one who was like, there's a girl, I want you to put her on. Yeah. I was like, okay, sharp, let's just do it. Put her on at the, but Slim didn't ask me. He pulled up and just told me. <laughs> no, I'm like, yeah. hey, no, Slim, so the thing, yeah. Slim. And that was a big night. That yeah. night was a big night because it was Lips of the Villains birthday celebration. Ah, uh, yes. And we just happened to have a slot. It yeah. was a big night. Also, I have a story for that night. Yeah. Oh, that's, no, that's no. I have a story for mm -hmm. that. The second time that you put me. So, anyways, I pulled through, and it was back to back bookings in Joba for yeah. me. And I'm like, this does not happen in Joba. Like, I once got booked for a gig. Oh my gosh! Now I'm like, this is a whole story. I once got booked for a gig. I went. And they told me, no, we didn't know that you were coming. And then they were like, no, we'll find the person who put you on the lineup. I waited for about three hours and nice. they kept giving me excuses. And to my manager at the time, it was also like, Asan, they don't respect you, let's go. Someone else will book you. And then, Imagine. yeah, no. And then after that, that's when I got the whole five gigs in one weekend in Joburg. My manager at the time did the thing, Um and then fast forward, I moved to Joburg because Joburg made sense. Mm. Um, yeah, but I mean, we still have this industry politics and the industry battles and 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 being a woman. It, it, it's long going, but that's basically my background story to it. I literally don't know if those will ever die. No, I'm, it's never ending. It's never, never gonna end. Can, can they reduce? It's 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 <laughs> because I remember I was having a conversation with Miza and he said that, our, and I agree, we have a great industry. It's just the people that are in it that are weird. Yeah, right. we have everything that it takes. We have the music, we've got the talent, we literally got everything. We huh? do. It's the people yeah, that are in do. it that are, are weird. So yeah. I understand. I think my story is quite different in the sense that I don't know how, um, nowadays, I don't know how it goes, but I only... It was only a year after I learned how to DJ that I felt confident to, to play for people. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So after you learn for like a year. Or yes, yes. I did a year. And then, Even and then your after your first gig, you like, you're not sure. Like, am I doing this? No, but yeah, that's you've been the, the thing with me is that it's, it, I, I they, my mentor kept telling me you're ready. Yeah. But he had to throw me in the deep yeah. for me to know that I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Like Nyakumula Gay National Arts Festival. And that is huge. I know. <laughs> yeah, National Arts yeah. Festival. Wati Wati Chonga Diama and Yokama. Anga Tinilum Kulo. I'm going to the loo. You were tricked, eh? Hundred percent. She was like, I'm going to the loo. This music must keep playing. So I uh, played his entire that set. That was planned. He was, was planned. It was planned. I love that though. I, yeah. I think I do now that I'm thinking about it retrospectively. Yeah. I appreciate it. It'll catch on later, which exactly. I am. Like, this person was too, actually One doing day, you a favor. That yes. One day, that eyes. Because after that, um, after that, um, I'm, 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 uh, I had already known URS, URS from a Gramstown, who was one of the big DJs at Gramstown. I had already known him, but we're close. But uh, then I started DJing, we became closer, and he put me on to start onto his big event that he did. You get me? And then after that, I had this residency there in Gramstown. Where, you know, whenever, but the money was terrible. I'm not gonna lie. Humble beginnings, guys. If Tom is watching this, the yeah. Bro, yeah. speaking about humble beginnings, you find that nowadays someone will start DJing now and then they have come and they have the, the balls, I'm gonna say that, the balls to charge money that we never saw until we mm. started, until three years plus into our career. Oh, guys. But I remember telling this. That is still an issue though. Yeah, like, it will never be an issue. That thing's not gonna go away. Like, it's a reality. Yeah. It's a reality, yeah. man. I'm like, how is that? Is this happening? How is, how is, 
everything shaped nowadays. Because of social media, I guess you can become big and 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 that's that. Yeah. Like social media has played a huge role. It's still playing a huge role right now. You can post something and be big. Yeah, and then and it's how you post it and the content that yeah. you post. So, so guys, na. Uh, 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 that's what I can. No, yeah, so well, now I just need to know mm. what should I do to do that. Because yeah, what must happen? Because I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I just need to know how to train. Yeah, and then how do I get more followers? Yeah. 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 followers? Yeah, to for so that I can say a solid 25k. Dude, yeah, dude. Come on, my booty. With my chest. With your chest. Yeah, 25. Because look, when I started, I didn't even think of social media. Bro, it was, it was just Facebook. It was back <laughs> alone. Bro. <laughs> Who ne followers is it? Two thousand. That was it. Why is there no followers? If friends. If friends. <laughs> if all the Facebook page guys. Yo. If friends is it? Dude. Now. Five hundred. One thousand. Two thousand. Yeah. So now, if you have like a certain amount of followers, brands approach you. Yeah. True. Something it's a different that you mentioned earlier that you need to be able to manage social media. Yes. And also not just because you can manage social media, but you have to have. There's gotta be something mm. behind you. Mm. Also, I think it's a conversation that we had when we were recording side sessions um, that you need to, you just need one thing to get you trained in yeah. anything. I yeah. mean, for example, and not in a bad way or anything, I'm not being malicious about this, yeah. but Mr. Snack, he's really like literally just training because he posted a picture with his kettle. <laughs> So you need to be creative behind how you get to trend. Yes. You know? And you know, thanks, Mr. Smeg. Because there was a lot of negativity that came with it. Mm. But he trended and right now he's got like so much following. Yes. Okay. So here's my thing about trending, ne? I'll tell you now. Um okay, Nam social media wasn't like I, I honestly I say this all the time. I'm like, the one thing I regret is not taking social media seriously when social media started to get big mm. in my career. Because if I did, my social media would be popping, but okay. because I find that some of the things that are happening on the streets are things that I've been doing throughout yeah. my whole career. Yeah. But it's because I didn't take social media yeah, seriously. Yeah. So in, here's my thing about trending. It trends, they fade down. So when you trend, the fall is going to be hard. Mm. It's, it's going to be hard. And, and, and that's the reason why I never looked to be famous or looked to, yeah. to trend yeah because the fall is it's, it's deep it's eh? nasty it's it's real hard but, which I'm is not why anybody's gonna do but it is hard yeah you need Especially to know how to maintain it also yeah so that's a tricky thing yeah managing aspect of it because you need to be able to maintain it when you're there yeah like whatever you do and that gets you trending you should be able to keep yourself to keep it consistent going. Yes. with it um, also, something that you mentioned that you, you were not as serious about your social media. Hundred percent, I wasn't. Not all of us good, good are good. crazy about yeah, trending or being. Exactly. Because it's great because it's good for your following. Because let's be honest, there was a conversation that someone asked. I was playing, and this guy says she's dope, but what's her following? And then the person responding said it's bad. And I'm like, so, so now you have so to ask that question to be relevant. Now. Yes. So, Your and face. my cousin was there listening to this conversation. She so when I was that, she tells me this, and I'm like, I get it, but at the same time, I don't want to start something that I know I would be able to maintain. Yeah. yeah. Because, and because it's, it's, it's also it's like because you need to mentally you also need to be consistently yeah. there. Yeah. And sometimes we get swept away with work. There's other things that take away your time from it. So being able to maintain every day, I don't have everyday content to give at home. Yeah. <laughs> like I really don't. I don't think everyone has everyday content. Bro, you be surprised. It's a skill. Yeah. It's a skill. It's, it, you I think surprised. it's a skill because you, you, you should get on the way, trend, get those followers, I think, yeah. and then maintain it from there. Yeah. So this and is, be consistent. This yeah. is the problem. This is what I always say, you know, we'll see, especially considering that female is trending now. That's a fact. Female is trending now. Uh, we have, especially post COVID, all these female DJs popped up from out of nowhere, yeah, yeah. and I, I'm okay with that. I'm not good with it if they popped up from out of nowhere. But the thing is, this the conversations that people have behind doors about you are very important because if you're not good at what you do, it's tricky. Mm. So, and the thing is, it, it, especially with us ladies, it doesn't help us if we're not good at what we do because now, on top of being female, 
they kind of gives people an excuse to say, ah, you know, Akaya's the way are because mm. she's a woman. Yeah. yeah, we get that a lot. You get, yeah, you know, so you, you <laughs> never want to give anybody an opportunity to kind of mm. utter those words on mm. your name. Like, well, guys, <laughs> being a female is so tricky. Yeah, you yeah. never want to utter those words on your name. 100%. So my only problem, only thing is, do whatever you've got to do. Your thing is trick. But as long as you've got up the work. Mm. Yeah. The work is the only important and thing. It and it, 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 it counts. Let it speak for you. Let it speak for you. It counts. It counts. Yo, it's so speech. much. Yeah. It moves. Mm. So I think for me, that's that's the only thing. I mean, I mean, it's about time, I guess, that female gets recognized in in the music and entertainment world. I mean, all Tony Dry couldn't join us today for the for the part shoot. But imagine Tony Dry is a vocalist and a producer. How many people she's know Tony Dry is a freaking? Let's she say, is like, working hard. Tony Dry, yay, kicks yes. ass. <laughs> Your brother, like, and also her production is. Tony Dry's music is fire. Tony Dry's music is lit. Yeah, like yeah. she's a hard worker, guys. She's such a hard worker. Do you ah. see? And you know, it shocks me. Can I actually make you guys laugh? But it's a follow on last weekend, um, just to digress a little bit. I met a guy who genuinely didn't know who Zakes Mandrini was till this year. Are you kidding me? No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? I hope no. Zakes can genuinely I... didn't know. And I asked him, Do you know Black Coffee? Mm. He's like, Yes. I'm like, Surely, you, you know Black days, Coffee, guys. you Come should on. know that because they came at some point, they came as a pair. Exactly. <laughs> and no, it's separate. Yeah. How do you not know? I'm I guys so know. <laughs> okay, what's the guys? If you know and Bobo, you definitely know Zakes. Zakes! <laughs> if you know DJ Melon, you definitely know Zakes. Yes! If you know DJ Melon, you know um, it's, And it's, no, I feel like... It was so, so hilarious. You, ah, no. Also, Zakes has been one of the most consistent people in this yeah, industry. But like, with his music. Uh, yes! Literally, like, was was Zakes' oh, jobs. Nice. Also, um, I need to ask, he has a song, guys, called November. Mm. That song is nowhere, and I don't get why, because it was such a beautiful song. Like, I've been looking for that song, I can't find it anywhere. Please, wait. if you see this, it's it. <laughs> Put that song Take on. I want to love it. <laughs> right? Also, another one. I mean, it's off topic. But, yo, house DJs, producers, make your songs at least seven minutes. Like, why? No, no why? Uh, seven guys, minutes no, is too man. long, my babe. Four minutes, a song. Like, yeah. a good house song, four minutes. Yeah, and now five guys, minutes. Okay, four minutes should be a radio edit. <laughs> four minutes yes, should be a radio, radio edit. edit. Yes, DJ radio cut edit. five minutes, five thirty. Ah, yeah. guys, I need seven. <laughs> why? Why? Six to get no, why? eight for us to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be. <laughs> Yes, no, I'm sorry, but hey, right? <laughs> really? Yes. Really? Guys, gone are the days where even the DJ cut is nine, eight minutes. Gone yes. are, and I'm honestly speaking, I'm happy to be quite honest with you because yeah. me too. I am. I'm, I'm glad Six about and it. And a half. Like, you have so much time. Six minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah. At least. <laughs> When it's five minutes, I get so sad because I'm like, because yeah. the song is so good. It's so good. Like, oh, awesome, like I don't actually. Want you, you just don't want now. it to end. Yeah. Prince KB just gave us oh, um, the song currently with Ungo um, What's the name of the song? It's just right now. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you just now. Okay, how long um, is it? <laughs> it's four, four and a half minutes. He did it intentionally. He ask, did. ask him for a DJ cut. Oh, yeah, like, I DJ I, cut there's no DJ, DJ cut. Back, yeah, no. Um, it's Spindy. Spindy Abulala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just yeah. like. Wait, is that the actual. Isn't that the radio? Tell DJ cut. Well, you know what you read? Anyway. That's how I'm asking. There's the no DJ. Like, I think I should slide in the DM. Yeah, slide in. Not in the DM. Just tweet him. because I just tweet and he was. He did. He responded, but like he should, yeah, he does respond though. But like, he, it was basically him retweeting and him saying, yeah, you know, like, you know, we get it that the song is. But, Zitella, in six and a half minutes, okay, is it a lot to ask? No, like, it's not, it's a, lot not a lot to ask. ask. It's not. Yeah, it's just but some really songs not a lot are actually that good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, you're right. And we're, we've moved completely. Yes, sorry. Now. <laughs> it shows the conversation. Yeah, it, is does, going. it does. It yeah. does. 100%. We've moved completely now. Uh, but you're right. Um, I, for one, I'm good with. Because I because now I'm, as, in production, I'm sitting and I'm just like, okay, working on a radio edit. Radio edit. Four minutes. Yeah. Four minutes. 
DJ Eric, you guys are gonna get the DJ Eric. Yeah, five minutes longer. longer. <laughs> yeah, it has to be long. It has to be long. Six minutes. Okay. It's we'll gonna be five and a half, guys. Nice. I figure go six minutes. I'm with DJ Eric. And you play it. <laughs> it better have a good intro game. It, it, has, it does, it does. They yeah. also gave us a oh, jam. Sure. They gave us a jam and I was just like, oh, yes. no, that, that, was, that was tricky. That was a tricky, that no. was tricky, guys. That was a jam. Yeah. It was a jam. Like, that is so tricky. I had so many politics and... Um, but it was you introducing yourself it was, as a producer. It was, it was. Oh. Look, you gotta start somewhere. Life is tricky. You will but, learn at the end of the day. Mm. Yes. And 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 that that the, the, the single that I released in Enekazi, it was mm. a learning process for mm. me, especially considering the business side of entertainment. Yeah. It kind of taught me not to underestimate it, mm. and I needed it to teach me that before anything else. Yeah. So now I'm at a point where I'm woke. <laughs> yeah. I'm woke. As yes, I'm saying, you're gonna learn. Yeah. And you're woke. Oh, and you're woke. And you're woke. I can't. Guys, how do you feel about um, about this conversation that is that has been happening on the streets? I think, in fact, I ran into Cuba the other day, and Cuba told me that. Not a jab. Oh, you yeah. Cuba. Sorry, not to Cuba. Wow, I ran yes. to Cubic. Cub- oh, Cubic. Yes. Also, another one. Another one. Yeah. yeah. I ran into Cubic, and apparently, he tweeted something that trended. Um, something about someone will dance and get all of the bookings. Uh, something along those lines. I mean, mm-hmm. Mob, we can pull that tweet up, yeah? I mean, and just like put it up. I'm gonna pull it up. The one where he said um, something about uh, 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 Instagram underwear model. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, an Instagram underwear model is going to, oh, to, to trend. He posted on Facebook as well. He posted on Facebook. Yes. It's going to trend. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I find it so weird. I mean, from the female side, it just it, it sounded bitter from his side, right? Because <laughs> it sounded bitter because when a gent sends it, says things like that. Now we all pay attention to it. But we were never paying attention when certain things, um, 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 when certain unfair things were happening in the industry. Yeah. Uh, and we never said anything about it, especially yeah. as, as females. We don't say Jack, Jack because it's we see it all the time. And I told him this, I was like, bro, you know what, Jimmy? We've been seeing things like this. People who decide that I'm a TV personality today, then tomorrow I'm a DJ. Uh, someone who decide, I mean, I'm like, I was like, it's all good. I mean, it's all good. It's all up to them. Yeah, get your it's money. Really, it's, yeah, it's all up to them. That's that's how I feel. Now, all I keep saying is, as long as you're good at what you're yeah, doing, doing. Yeah. that's all. So I don't know how you guys did. You guys see that chat? That 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 mm. thing. Cubic post. Cubic, yeah. Cubic yeah, toast. I actually added some spice in there. What spice did you <laughs> add? Please tell me. No, I I screenshot something on Twitter and then. Because uh, there was a female like with a um, thing with lingerie, and then someone commented and said, <laughs> no. That's what I posted I on saw- the comment section. The people were laughing, then I vanished. That is hilarious, Lutz. That what? is funny. Yeah. Look, guys, guys, I have my moment. Okay. You know what? This industry, ne? Yeah. This industry. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you, you, and I think it's a conversation that we need to have as well with body management. Yes. For a manager. And they're like, you have the face, you have the body, um, you've got the skill, but we need to sell you. So, sex, sex sells. And there's a, there's a certain way they, they put it. Mm. And it's like, no, but sometimes I really just want to rock up in sweatpants yes. and a t-shirt and a cap and just do what I And just rock. Girl, I, will. I just want my, I want my work to speak for me. Yes. I don't know. But some days I want to pull up and I'm showing literally almost every inch yeah, of my body. Six, yeah, for my Yeah. I want yeah. To, whenever I go out, I want it to be me. I want yeah. to represent myself. Whether I'm in sweatpants and oh, a t-shirt or something or else. I'm in a, a crop top and mm. shorts. Yeah. But now the thing is, you now t- you want to make to make me trend, or you want to make me trend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. Regarding um, the sex line, and yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong, but also it requires a certain personality mm. and a certain body sometimes yeah. for you to trend regarding and that. Pull it off, yeah. And 
I I I I, I, I personally fooling. can't. Yeah. I, it's not not that I'm fooling it, uh, but uh, the consistency behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the pressure as well. The pressure oh, sure. because now every time I go out, I need to make sure. Mm. Uba, oh, I, your outfit is better than the last outfit. And John, I guys, so let me just image to me is number one. I feel like if you know me, if you know me, image is number yeah, one. Yeah. If, but it depends on how you want to be perceived. Yeah. For me, I wanted to perceive to be perceived a certain way. Mm. And skin is my brand. Y'all know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the first time I saw you, I was like, I love because you, you own it. You skin know. is my yeah, brand. But you're so free with, all, with yourself. It's, yeah. it's, it's not forced. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, tra- it's not like, it's not like I'm trying to trend or anything like that. You're just I'm you just being com- me. You're being comfortable with yeah. yourself. Yeah. I'm just being me comfortably myself. And I hear what you're saying, right? I just feel like it depends on what you're trying to achieve and who you want to be and who you are. And your character has to be there because yes, guys. my thing is I I love shorts. I you do. I love shorts. Mm. And I'll pull a crop, crop top now and then, but I love shorts and anything short. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not going to wear shorts every day. Mm. And I don't want you to sell me as the girl who's always very short. 100%. Shorts. I'm not yeah. always going to wear And he tries to have a photo And uh, my style is quite versatile. It is, I yeah. can go from heels to sneakers. You have great style, yeah. but it's such a lady you. beautiful style. I love thank it. You. Mm. So I don't want to put a certain image out and sell that and then you look good. And I don't want to do it because there's also when I say there's a certain there's a certain look yeah. that certain managers want. Mm. And it's, it's, it's the sexy but and there's risky and not in a bad way because not everyone can carry risky, you know, with with grace. Mm. Not everyone can do that. And I don't think, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm forced into Every time I go into a gig, I have to be. You have to show a lot yeah. of skin. Yeah. Because some days, I really don't want to no, show a lot true. of skin. I need to look good, mm. and my work needs to, to be speak to the show up. Exactly. But my main thing is that I don't. Because now, if I categorize myself a certain way, I have to be just that, and I don't want to box myself. Exactly. Yeah. No, you know? true, true. Exactly. So I think that that's and there was even training just the other day. The starter pack to be female. <laughs> How is there was a stand up pack for female rappers. Now there's a stand up pack for DJs. I was actually guys, there's a stand up pack for Zia Puma. Like, yo, guys. I'm just like. Yeah, there was a, 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 a bralette and then a thong. And trench coat, then, ne? The trench coat one. I, no, it was a bralette, a thong, and jeans, wearing jeans. Oh, oh I saw the trench coat open. one. Oh. So, besides the open button, but the bralette thing has been your signature. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, guys. not everyone. Dresses like that, mm. and I'll make an example. Let me, oh my gosh, Estelle is beyond mm. beyond. Yeah, can I just take off her I, shoes? I, <laughs> I, I love Zinclair's. Zinclair dress as well for me. I love yeah. Zinclair's. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's just, well. it's just me making examples mm. of it's not, but they're not in bralettes. Yeah, you know, mm. I so never seen them the in a bralette. Actually. Yeah. Actually, now that, yeah. Can I go back to set up because right now all of the girls that popped up, that's the yeah, look that's that they the go look, for. Yeah, they're going for, yeah. yeah that's the I look that they go for. So, yeah, no, maybe that's that. That's a stand up and gig is Peleas. So, what oh. shoe is being worn? Come to set up What was it? What shoe was it? Oh, well, I think it, the main thing was the top. The and top the, and the under. Yeah, yeah the that gave the not attention. I'm not sure. I think it was sneakers. I, I, I never that wore a sneaker to a gig. So. And I love it. <laughs> I do. I yeah, you guys are so I love it. You, yeah. you, you, you have heels. this really cool, relaxed, and I'm a. Yeah, a, I'm you a, see yes, a couple of times. Yes. Cool look. I really I like both. it. It's yeah, and cool. I love jeans. Yes, you love jeans. I'm into jeans more than anything. Mm, I, yeah, you I am this really cool. Dance. I'm relaxed. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to do me. I'm here to do my job. You know, you know, yeah, you've seen me. You and Umusha give me a similar vibe in terms of like the energy. Yes. Is it OG? We OG. <laughs> okay, Bush is an OG. Bush is an OG. Yeah, like, yeah, no, Bush is an OG. Yeah, OG. Yeah. So I don't know. You didn't tell me how you, how you, where your intake is, how you feel about that. Okay, are you shy? Shy. No. The show was gone, guys. I just feel like, the, the, I don't think there really is a starter pack, but the the one thing um, you guys did talk about or mention was that it's like a lot of female DJs have popped up. Yeah, yes. they have. I feel like even male guys. Even gents, bro. There's, like, actually, yeah. there's a lot of female DJs f- right now. And not to say, because sometimes you, you, 
have the skill for it or you know you want to try all these different things until you find what you love, love right yeah. and the, the the cake is big enough for all of us mm. um there is a lot of us so it's my thing with that is then the bookings because most of the ladies that are training right now yeah. or that are DJs are playing pianos. Yeah, yeah true, hundred percent. Yes, all of them, not would, all of them. I would love for the I can say to say all of them. Up the, 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 the category behind that because I think versatility is nice. It I, is. I honestly get so irritated when I go to a gig and there's two back to back DJs that play the same show. Yeah. 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 Me too. Because I actually leave. Like <laughs> I can't. No, I leave too. So right. can you variety mm. it would be nice to to get your soulful house yeah yeah and i get so excited when i come across ladies that do soulful mm. me too i'm just like what me too. or deep soul oh, I I know. Know. Oh, oh, guys listen no. I I'm like, I saw one playing deep soul i get yeah. so excited listen i get so excited because and i'm I'm not being malicious as well regarding yellows. Yeah. It's a great genre. It, it is. is the movement right now. And it's part of South African. Yeah, and you can jump yeah. on it, do it. Mm. Um, I just think variety would be really, really nice. Mm. That would also like promoters, if you're booking your DJ. Yeah, people can the scent of how you're booking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 It would be nice to get like an R&B DJ. Yo, yo, yes. yo when long did you hear trap. a kick as a hip hop set? Listen. It's been a while for me. So uh, it's really, 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 really hey, nice. You get one hip hop DJ for the other night. No, Fifla, no. Fifla takes you back. Yeah. Fifla takes, takes you back. You get one DJ that will play hip hop throughout the night and six mm. of them are playing Yanos. So give us trap, give us hip hop. Yeah, give us quiet give us beat Afro pop, yeah. give us Yanos. Yeah. Like, can we have everything yes. so that we have the right and have a good time? Mm. And if, because right now the trend is Yano, yeah. have two DJs that do Yano yeah, on not the lineup. More. And not, not back more. to back. I, I think that would be really, really cool. Yes. I think personally that um, we actually don't, we underestimate how much we are in control of what the audience consumes yeah. especially as djs and as, as producers we not all of us now have to go leading towards the same sound or the same prospect yeah we underestimate it because it is the promoter's business or whoever's doing an event to make sure that we're not all consuming the same, same thing. thing yeah yeah well it's 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 it's, it's how do i put this it's doing what it's doing because they are tr- they are feeding us something we didn't say we want to be fed. And I don't have a problem with that, to be honest with you. I just have a problem when I get to a venue and I listen to four hours of the same genre. Yeah. yeah. I have a problem. It's like, well, do you have me. an agenda? Do you, yeah, like, do you I, have, I, I also feel like that's my do thing. Do you have an agenda? So I have a problem when I'm being fed four hours of the... Then I'm thinking, surely I'm not the only person. How many other people have a problem with being fed? Four hours of the same music. And you have, you hear hours. the same song three times. I was about to say yes, three times. And I know that we we, we have music that trends for a certain period. period right? Yeah, go, love, I go, love guys. I, I stand Any day, I move from Afro to go. <laughs> like the but did you? No, no I bro, I played go too. I Woo. love, love, love. I I played go. Um, my thing with it is that even the time it was trending. Yeah. I didn't want, I didn't want to listen to four hours of it. Yeah, because it gets too much. I, I, Give us a I break. Did, but <laughs> to, <laughs> but, but, the but, bias. No, but. for me, it's a, it's a matter of, let's have, I mean, I could, you know, I think 12 p.m. 12 a.m. is like the peak at group. Yeah. I don't mind listening to like Deep House. I wouldn't mind dancing to Cubic at 12 a.m. Yeah, like me club, too. Yeah. You know, so can the can promoters and managers, when they book, restaurant managers, when they book, have variety. Mm. Because honestly, I get up and I leave if it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, and also talking about, not everyone wants to consume the same thing all the time, which is very true. But there's a time, guys, I did a two hour set. <laughs> and I was playing, I went from like old school, I did, I did a bit of commercial, Afro, you know, um, and then I started chanting, the end of the end, and I was like, yo, wow. guys, the pressure, le? the pressure. But yeah. my thing was that I don't want to start a genre that I'm not passionate about because once I do that, I will not be in the moment. 100%. Yeah. And I will just be mixing for the sake of it. Yeah. And I'm not, that's not what I want to do because 
My thing is that when, before you play a set, sometimes, and most of the time, you sit down and you go through this music. Your music, yeah. And you see what song links with which one. So already I've had an hour or two of putting together a set. Yeah. And now I must go and play it and listen to other people that play the same genre, which is a lot for me to consume. Yeah. And right now, because it's the training genre, it means that I've got two hours of home of it. Um, and I get to the gig. And also you need to listen to the songs even before you prepare yourself because you mm. need to know the music. Yes. So I'm literally continuing the same. I, it needs to be something that I'm, I'm passionate about and I love. Yeah. Which is, for me, it's been Afro House for the longest time. Yeah. So for me to switch into something that I don't, I'm not as passionate about. And comfortable problems, with. Yeah. Because then I'll do 30 minutes of it and I'll be mad. And I'll probably won't be able to mix it at the end. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm just doing it. Because and also just I'm doing it because everyone else is just doing, doing it. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I want to add something with the promoters. Eh? When they book DJs, can they do research on each DJ? <laughs> no, they need to do research, guys. Like I feel like research is more important. Even find out how long a DJ has been playing for, so that. When it comes to payment, do you think cloud, they care? Luke? But they don't care. Yeah. That's another thing. They don't they care. Don't payment, guys. Yeah. They don't give a damn you, at all. <laughs> they don't give a damn how long you've been doing this. Yeah, probably like two percent that give a damn. No, the, the yeah, rest, two percent. They don't give a damn. Give a damn. Like those no, people guys. just, they just want to, they want to fill the club and that's understandable, yes. you know, but the one thing I always tell them, Puti, don't come to me when you're not happy about the service. Yeah. Because that's the thing. That's another thing. They come to mm. us when they're unhappy about the service. I'm not gonna lie. I've had people come to me when they were unhappy. Like, oh no, we should have just done this. I like, you probably should have. Yeah. Also, um, and I think we've had this chat before. Just pay. <laughs> like, the DJ. Just pay. Yeah. Because if we're gonna be on the same lineup and there's someone who earns who charges 25k mm. and I charge 2k. Mm. It doesn't mean that my work is any less. Mm. So pay me. Yeah. Don't do not do not book me and create a flyer if you're not gonna pay me. Yeah. Rather, if I do agree to it, don't put me on a flyer. I think I think just don't put me on a flyer because I'm. A, no, like I think it it, 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 it hurts does myself hurt. because I need to travel to get to your gig. Yeah. And let's um, say if I'm not doing anything else at the time, it means that. This is my source of income. Yes. So now, every time that you're a DJ, you need to have backup. And mm. I think that's the unfair chat that it is a career on its own. It is. So it's not fair to expect people who are in it to try and have backup plans. It's, it's a full-time job. Sourcing music, listening to music, creating a set, yeah. mixing, because you probably had someone teach you. And some people go to school for it. And you, you paid someone or you paid somehow to learn the skills so to ask someone to come and play for free unless we are friends unless we are friends please don't put me on a flight yeah if we are friends and we've spoken i'm like yeah sure but you don't know me from above so if you want to book me for your event yeah. and you're not even giving me transport money yeah no guys no no and no, another no. thing look as djs we are allowed to do favors for no, others for, yes. for each yes. other i ain't doing favors for other. nobody who ain't gonna give me a exactly. yeah if you don't know the nah. person no, they should pay them. They should because pay. Because I feel like you, my thing with it is also, there's someone on the same lineup and just because I don't have 10,000 followers and they do, mm. you feel the need that they deserve to be paid. I deserve to be paid as much as they do. Exactly. And I would rather not gig. I cool. yeah, I'd rather, rather chill at home. I'd rather, chill I'd rather Netflix home. and chill. Me too. I'd, I'd rather chill at home. So if it's not another fellow DJ, I'd rather, no, I'd rather, if we're not friends, or oh, Asazani, mm. and you're, you're just a promoter, to, don't. Like, it's okay. Like, mm. it's okay, I'll chill at home. Because it's going to cost me money to come to your gig. Yeah. And you still expect me to deliver. Because you're not expecting me to just play, first play, and sit in the legs. Yeah. I Which is play. what most people do nowadays. You see? You see? You see? You see? <laughs> Which is what most people do nowadays. But I must do that. Do, do you think the art of um, the art of DJing though is slowly diminishing in 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 the midst of whatever is happening? I remember I had I remember I saw a a, a tweet, another tweet at Facebook. You know these Facebook where they say sync platine. Um, they say sync button and what 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 and then someone was like 
the DJing is not just about mixing wara wara wara. Do you else? what do you think? Do you really think that it can be the art of DJing is slowly fading out in the process the more the technology improves? Because yeah. really we have sync buttons now, you don't really gotta do jack. Mm. Sync. Oh. By the way, I've got non sabens is so sync, guys. Buying is technology. I'm technologically <laughs> challenged. Yeah, so. so for me, I've only played a full gig once with, with, with a controller. Yeah, you, okay. yeah, you said that. And I, after that, I battle because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a technology person. That's oh, my biggest okay. battle. Oh. And I think there's also the chat that if it pays the bills, Sink and go right ahead. Sink and go. But with what she's saying is there are guys that have been doing this and out of respect for them because I mean there are guys who started with mine. Mm. Michelle would love to play vinyl, but you, it's a lot of skill. Okay, sorry, what is this obsession with vinyl? Like, I'm like, it's all cheese. <laughs> it is, but it's like, what is the obsession? What's, no, what's like, this obsession I, with vinyl? I think it's 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 the 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 skill behind it. I think you don't and hear the patience. Song. Not everyone can the patience. Like, just, and hearing the song, man. <laughs> The plastic key. The plastic key. Yeah. Man. I think it's just a <laughs> yeah, test track. Yeah, yeah, what a plastic feel, man. And not everyone can play vinyl. Exactly. Today's 100. Not everyone. 200. Actually. Exactly. Remember, we not everyone. Not everyone can play with 350s. You know what I mean? Tandy, Tandy. Tandy 350. I think I'd probably like 200 if. I, what? I I just don't like the idea of carrying a million seats. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. a pouch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. Dude, like where were you? Yeah, no, it's okay. Hey, how about those days? days. <laughs> no. Guys, it Yo, is a no. city bag, guys. <laughs> and you would pray that your CD doesn't kick. Yes. Because gotta find a switch. Exactly. And not all CD genders are the same. Let's say you burn a CD today. You are confident that you're going to play a CD ne, at a gig. Ah. Yeah, fuck it, CD. The song kicks. Kick, kick, kick. Oh. But you burnt it like few hours you ago. You burnt it Ima- now. Imagine it's a kicker when you are mixing Hi. it. Hi. Like, like mixing when you're there, like with it's the like crowd. Kick, 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 kick. And like, then after that, because kind of, I was like, should I go for sure? I do. What do I do? Where I? And then the crowd would be like, DJ, DJ was on. DJ was on. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, yeah, no, it's been a journey. Eh? Oh, right. yeah, sure. no. No. So I'm all about um um, um because yeah, Kumbula, we we're talking and we're just like, hey, this whole CDJ process thingy as in what what's your favorite, what's your not? Because mm. on the phone, I did tell you guys I was with I was talking to you time because she was she wanted to confirm what we're working with for the pod party. And I'm just like, no, we're using this and that. And then she mentioned that she hates three thousand. I was like, pay me. I hate three thousand still. They're the latest though, but I hate them. Guys, I have, I have not played on three thousand. I, I don't them. know how they are. Like, I look. I, I only played them with one, like one time, uh, but I enjoyed. You enjoyed like, them? Yes, I enjoyed. The thing is, I got schooled. Very quickly, the guy was like, okay. Oh, he told you quickly. Yeah, you, you must just cram. Of course. You want to cram your exam. Of course. That's exactly what I did, and I enjoyed it. Because sometimes mm. you get a DJ who will be this, okay, so this one works like this. Yes. Right? And sometimes, 850 again, then that dirty. <laughs> <laughs> In 900. And who's dirty? dirty. <laughs> she, yes, who's the question? But I'm like, but they're quite. They're quite over here. No, like 850s. Did the most for me, and I hated, I hate eight fifty with all my mm. soul. And <laughs> I love three fifty, by the way. Mm. But like the transitioning, air, all equipment is different. Yeah, it is. The algorithm is the different. The algorithm yeah. is different. Yeah, you guys just speak about the algorithm. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I haven't tried the three thousand. I think I've gone as far as two thousand. Please mm. try. Please just one day give yeah, yourself I'm a sure yeah. You yeah, you know, that, sure. you know that, okay, so can I tell you something? The first time I used 3000s, it was at this other mansion party, net. Mm. So I get there, and you know how men, men explain you? Like, yeah, you don't yeah. know what you... So this, was a dog. Exactly. Mm. So this guy came and men mm. a CDJ to me. So I was like, give me a second. Let me familiarize myself yes. before anything else. Some people did forward, I don't know, but I was like, let me familiarize myself with anything. I was like, okay, cool. Looks like something I know. I started playing music. And then somewhere along the lines, I realized, Joquil, you're soft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're soft. 
Uh, because now when 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 when, I, when I'm pushing, I can't be like what? Yeah, you need to be. I, I heard my as soon as I heard it, push God, that's it. <laughs> yes. Come back. Come back. Okay, I learned you now. Okay, good. But I hated how the guy approached me, mansplaining the thing to me. Like as in, in a team, I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. That's what annoyed me. Come baby forward, but I just hate the approach. He could have just went, hey, um, there's a problem with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. Which, by the way, I don't think DJs do that for one another. It some do. Some I do. Some do. Some do. Some do. Some some do. Some yeah. If yeah. I get there and I see something wrong, I'm going to let you know. Same. Mm. So I remember I was playing at another venue that I have cancelled in my life. I don't take bookings from there. <laughs> for your own personal reasons. Yes, for my own personal reasons. <laughs> that Pikapa, the hardware, was trash. You can hear Nala Pukuba, Ubi Apa, you just have different bouncing sounds. Yeah, the which, echo. Ne? Yes, which you can work with sometimes. Yeah. But in that particular space, now when you stand in front of the monitor, you hear the monitor and then you hear everything else. It was tricky and this guy didn't tell me and on top of that, their CDJs weren't working. They weren't working Ooh. properly. The guy before me is a resident DJ. He didn't tell me all of this. Hey guys, we need to have a discussion about, about resident DJs. <laughs> 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 Honestly, like, yo. The resident ah. DJs, when you're against DJs, they want to see you fail. Come on, guys. Come on. Yo. It's like they want to see you fail, bruh. <laughs> and I'm thinking, Johnny, because I was a resident at so many places, mm. I had never wanted to see anybody fail. Yeah. But for some reason, as a resident DJ, I'm all good. Ideally, we're, it's not, in as much as we're here, we are here to entertain the crowd. Yes. Very yeah. So you and I are on the same team. 100%. We are on the same boat. We are supposed to entertain people. Yeah. So if I'm slacking, how is it that you're rejoicing? Also, me slacking or me not being able to mix does not take away from your no skill. Mm. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to mix as well. Yeah. Or you will mix better in Shayagile that day. Or mm. I can't mix at all for that matter. Yeah. But it, it was not take day. anything yeah. away from you. Yo, guys. That's why I, I believe that some resident DJs are going to stay in the <laughs> same places. Some places they no are more, never now. Yeah. Yes, they're going to stay they're in the same place. They're not going anywhere. They won't progress, that's the thing. They're not going they anywhere. Won't. And that's the thing. Umu wana awenzi next. And then, so what happened? <laughs> so what I, can I tell you, I played there, I got there. I played for 15 minutes. Dan Kukshay Chomfut, I played for 15 minutes. And then when he gets there, I'm like, boy. I am leaving because I, I had enough patience for what's going on here. Mm-hmm. But I am leaving because I don't think this hour set is going to go well. Mm. It went well for the 15 minutes. As a result, when I got out, his ladies ran to me and they're like, why did you play so so short? We were enjoying your music. But I was like, I'm at a point in my career whereby I know what works for me and I know what doesn't work for me. I have patience for certain things. I don't have patience for certain things. Mm. And I'm at that point in my career. So I didn't have patience for that particular thing. So I was unhappy about how they treated me because I would never treat anybody I'm hosting like that. Yeah. Never, ever treat anybody I'm hosting yeah. like that. I would make sure everything is fine. If it's not fine, make sure that at least you're comfortable. Mm. Yeah. And not disregard you saying that there's something wrong. Like he said something like, this is what I got. Other DJs have used it. Got a show. And so, and other DJs get mm. And also, and the conversation behind that is it's not what you say, but how you say, you say it. Yeah, he said it very terribly. Um, I was like, sure, yeah, boy. Yeah, and obviously, that was going to turn you yeah, off. I was yeah. like, sure, boy. Because now it's like they're doing you a favor. Mm. Yeah, exactly. What, exactly. <laughs> and they still expect you to mix. I was like, sure, boy. I was like, nah, so. I'm good. I'll play two songs. I'm out. Mm. I was smiling you so when I said it and I'm trying because I said it with a smile. Mm. That's it, boy, I'd never do this to you. Mm. But I have another gig to get to. So yeah. That's that. It is what it is. Mm. It is yeah. what it is. Mm. That's all. And sometimes you get the, the cute buttons working. <laughs> and the DJ and before you doesn't tell play. you. Doesn't tell you. And they don't play you. They don't tell you. And you chew with play. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what? I think a lot of people, a lot of audiences don't know what we go through. Mm. But I think that's why we kind of have these conversations so that we can go in ahead and share. No, they do. Everybody. Mm. What the hell? Because there's no thing. Is, mm. Yeah, and when you when there's like a little hiccup or a little mess up, it's not about they don't know about the equipment yeah. or what what. It's it's you. Yeah, that they DJ blame the DJ. Yes. Play. And I, I, there's a there's a there's an event I, I went to at a three fifty the side of the and I had a new mark 
and you must like, join me. Tabi. And then, <laughs> and she says, yes, I, I can't, guys. You're, even me, because it's not a pioneer. What is it? Because yeah. I think with it also, and as the band do, or I am shammy. But there is something that's there that that will play against you. <laughs> if BBM, it doesn't matter whether BBM is the same or not. I shangani, it doesn't. And the the, the tube button wasn't working, so <clears throat> the pioneer is a 350. The tube button isn't working, so I'm chewing with play. Mm. And then I have a new mark beside. So every time I transition from the new mark to from the pioneer to the new mark, it's smooth. When I transition from the new mark to Eliash, and you know, as I thought at first, I got frustrated because Eliash puts you off. Yeah, yeah it, it does. It puts you off. And it can, it can hinder the risk of your set. Yeah. Mm. But I was like, you know what? This is not my fault. People are dancing. Mm. I will just work with this. I will try with this, but this is where it's at. Yeah. And I did that after my hour set. I packed up my you go. Just like, yeah, the things we go through. Yo. Because the, the people listening will probably think she can't make yeah. 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 But if I have two different, I have I, an iPhone and a Samsung. Yeah. And I'm trying, sometimes I that. Yeah, I blew two times. Hey, wait. I pull up. Are you getting it? It's a drop. Are you to Bluetooth? Yeah. So and I'm going to ask this guy. Yes, yes, no. It's no. Right now, me panicking or getting frustrated. I just went down. Yeah. Drop. I just did what I did. And then here and there, you hear it coming in smoothly. But and it yeah, gives you confidence, man. Yeah, okay. Eventually, but yeah, yeah, when you yeah. start getting into the groove exactly. of it, and then some yeah. songs you can hear, but it, 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 and I'm like, yeah, oh, Devin, <laughs> July, here we are. Guys, <laughs> guys yo. Oh, guys, the things you go through, hey. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. you get the U USBs, just don't read at all, at all, yeah, at all. Like, at, was, <laughs> that actually happened to me as well. Um, Zimbu Malanga, and it was because the format was on a Mac because it was his MacBook. Yeah. And then when I get there, so what I had to do. I was very patient and I'm thankful that the guys at, at, at the venue were also the recent DJs were great. I was like, John, it's not reading. Let me format it quickly. Just play for another 15 minutes. Mm. I'll take 15 minutes. So play for another 15 minutes. My yes, is not reading. Just going to format it and see what we get there from there. Yeah. And he was patient enough. And I'm grateful for that guy, actually, because <laughs> yeah. the night was great. Yeah. yeah. The night was great. Because I think we've been chatting for a while and it's, it's, it's going to be about that time whereby we need to actually start the pod party and let's <laughs> play with the with the music and i just want to say um we're probably going to have a part two of of, of this conversation yes, as well 100 percent. we're definitely going to have a part two of this conversation and for now i think it's time for us to press play start our music and bid our adieus to the podcast so we can go on ahead and do the party is there anything you want to say ladies besides we're looking forward to your sets <laughs> what can like, you say? It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day, a good day to play good music. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> it's a good day to play good music, guys. We've got Sandy and DJ Luz right now today at the pod party. We're gonna be having a good time. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. Wait. So let's do it. Otherwise, for now, the podcast say what? <laughs>